Being independent does not make you a macho, but it simply means you always find a way to be comfortable with you. This can be fulfilling, but it can also be lonely sometimes. Being independent has its numerous perks. You can travel on your own to places you've never been and you'll never feel lonely. Or you can learn new skills on your own. You don't miss not being around people, but it doesn't mean you don't love people. You are comfortable with yourself, whether you are around people or not. It can be beautiful and also ugly to be independent. In this video, I will be sharing with you 17 signs that you are also an independent soul. 1. You love being able to complete a task without any help. You love getting things done by yourself, not because you are too proud to ask for help, but because you just love challenging yourself to get things done without asking for help. Asking for help may mean that you feel incapable of not getting that task done, so you hardly ask for help. Of course, you ask for help when it's necessary, but you don't depend on the support of others to get things done for you. You run your own business without hoping someone will run it for you. 2. When you finally admit defeat and need help, it's hard to ask. You're not proud here. Too often, you just don't like bothering people with your issues. Your independence makes you feel you're using others when you ask them for help, or you're losing your capability when you ask for help. So, you don't like to ask for help. Asking for help becomes your last resort when you realize you've exhausted all your options. 3. You want friends, but that involves being dependent on others. You don't dislike people, but you don't want friends who think you have to depend on them. You don't want to feel dependent on others, so you struggle with having friends and not having them. Even if you do have friends, you do not readily depend on them. You can still live your life conveniently without them. 4. When you have friends, hanging out is more challenging than you thought it would be. You do not hate hanging out with your friends, but you are comfortable in your own company and often do not even need to be around friends to feel alive. You don't miss their company, so sometimes hanging out with friends can be a bit of a chore. You are not a hermit, or maybe you really are acting like one. 5. When you're around your family, you feel like the odd one out. When your family is gathered in the sitting room, you prefer your bedroom. When they move their meeting to the bedroom, you want to escape to some private space as long as you know you've always enjoyed being alone. Although you live with your family, you feel like you're the odd one out. They're used to asking help from each other, you're not. You keep away from anything that your family makes you dependent on them. 6. It's hard to go shopping with other people. You don't need anybody by your side to decide for you what you want as you go shopping. You've already figured out what you want and you want to get it and just get out. Going shopping with others would mean having more time to check through myriads of options before your guys finally make a choice. You don't have that time. Plus, you like to avoid the crowd because you love being alone. So, you would instead go shopping alone. You're independent. 7. You know when to say no or yes. You're not ashamed to admit your no to anyone. You have already figured out that you want to do something and so you don't waver between options. Your no is no and your yes is your yes. You give straight answers because you're not dependent on anyone and you don't really have to be scared of letting anyone know what you have decided. You're not brash. You just know what's on your mind and when to speak your mind. 8. You're strong and focused. When you set a goal, you're focused on achieving it you try as much as possible to let nothing distract you. You don't like to show weakness, neither do you show strong emotions in public. Too often, you would instead act like all is well when all isn't, because you don't like being pitied. You like to handle your own business. You don't get sidetracked by distractions because you're often focused on your goals. 9. You tend to take charge. You have always been a leader and have always found yourself taking the forefront of most things. You may be comfortable in your own skin, and may enjoy your time alone, but you also can be able to take charge where you need to take charge. You love to be in charge of situations of your life, and where you're required to. You stay in charge of situations around you. You're not proud, but you naturally do not like being a follower. You don't like being told what to do. Instead, you love to lead and find your fulfillment in being the boss. 10. You despise owing others. You hate to owe because you might as well ask for help instead of owing. You equate owing with asking for help, so you despise it when you owe. It makes you feel the most uncomfortable when you think about you owing someone. 11. You constantly get told you're rude. People often tell you you're arrogant, proud or rude, because you're bold and you speak your mind, but then you know you're not. You just know what you want, you know how to get it, and you will not give up on what you want by pandering to other people's whims. You love others, but you do not let people sway you because you're trying to be in their good books. 
You don't care about being in other people's good books, so you're often considered rude. 12. You speak your mind. You don't keep quiet about how you feel. You don't have the truth about a situation just because you want to look good before others. You're not interested in looking good before others. You already look good before yourself, and so you do not need the approval of others. This attitude sometimes gets you in trouble. People do not understand who you are, and they do not appreciate the fact that you actually say what you want, know what you want, and stay focused on achieving what you want. You may have lost some friendships or relationships because of this, but it doesn't matter much to you. It's not your fault that people do not understand you. 13. You know how to prioritize. You know what you need to take care of first. Your to-do list is organized, and you will not be swayed by anyone to organize what you have planned to do. It doesn't mean you're unreasonable, but because you do not depend on anyone, you only make changes to what you have to do, that you have agreed are the right changes to make. You don't try to do anything to please anyone, because you can put first things first. You are much of a problem solver, and you can readily make tough decisions without thinking twice. 14. You take pride in your work. You pride yourself in the job you do because you can motivate yourself to get things done. You don't want to be pushed to achieving something. Thus, your ability to motivate yourself will help you to make progress in your career. You are willing to work long hours and you don't mind staying on the job so that you can earn more. You pay attention to detail because personal success matters to you. You are willing to work as hard as is required of you if you must move your career forward. 15. You reap the benefits of your career success. You don't waste time to take good care of yourself when you're successful because you know you work for it. You don't splurge, but you don't withhold from yourself what you need to live a good life. You don't let anyone determine what you should have or what you shouldn't have. You go for what you know you need to have, haven't worked for it, and you're not ashamed to enjoy what you now have. 16. You utilize your time alone to think about new opportunities. You don't waste your time alone on frivolities. You're always thinking about discovering and learning new opportunities. You're always seeking to be innovative and to create new ideas for your business or the company you work. You equally use the time alone to develop new skills so you can move forward in your career. You hate to waste time. Of course, you find time to have fun and to rest. But you also make time for maximizing your life so you can better your future. 17. You know when to ask for help. Yes, being independent does not mean you go about acting like you know everything. You do not hesitate to ask for help when you are confused or you do not know exactly what solution to prefer to a problem. You don't feel weak because you ask questions. Instead, you feel strong for asking questions. You know asking questions doesn't make you dumb and it actually makes you wise. If this video inspired you, like the video. We love you.